Is your weekly planning taken away from your productivity? What if I told you that there was a way for you to plan your entire week in less than five minutes? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I seamlessly pair my to-do list that is in Notion and my time blocking that is in Google Calendar to create this powerful weekly planning system that is guaranteed to boost your productivity in just a few clicks. Hi, I'm Kimani and welcome to my channel Hauling This Together where we cover all things organization, productivity and personal growth. So if you're interested in any of that then you might want to subscribe to this channel and I'll show you guys how I create my to-do list and my Google Calendar for efficiency so that I don't spend hours trying to plan my week ahead and so that I can stay on track with all the things that I need to do on a weekly basis while also being flexible enough so that I don't feel like I'm stuck in a system, stuck in a cycle and I can actually change up the days as I go along if needs be. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to start with is our calendar blocking using Google Calendar and we're going to create our ideal week. So I'm not going to go too detailed in this because I did do a tutorial on this. If you want the full tutorial, which I go in detail, you can check that out on my page. The video will also be linked. First thing I'm doing is to create my morning routines and my night routines because this will be repeated every day. Now keep in mind that this process, this ideal week calendar, is simply just a template. It's a template to help us to plan our week faster and not necessarily to plan our entire life weeks in advance. So now I'm showing you that it goes on and on for as long as you can think and you literally just put in whatever time blocks, put in how long you want it to repeat for. You can edit different colors so that you see a color and you know exactly what it means. Now, after we've added our routines, which are morning and night routines, we're going to add in our business stuff. So if that's work and you have a nine to five, then that's just one big block. If it's not and you work for yourself or you do a bunch of random different things, then you can add based on how many hours per week you work and when you typically work. So if it's morning, afternoon, whatever it is that works for you, that's what we're doing right now. But we're just adding in all the business slash work things that we need to do. Now also keep in mind that this is not boxing you in and you can always edit and change things around, lengthen or change the dates or you can add different colors for different things. You can add emojis like we're literally just creating a template that we can use for future reference to make our lives a little bit easier and to save some time. Also note that for all the blocks that we're adding, they're pretty generic based on the description or the title that we have added and that is because we are pairing this with our to-do list which I will get into that tutorial after this but I will show you guys how I break down each thing because you don't want our calendars to look any more bu like busier than it needs to look so having morning routine I know that for my morning routine, I do my skincare, I do my walking, I do my devotion, I do all these things. If I was supposed to add individual blocks, it would definitely make my calendar look a lot crazier. And so I just use my calendar plus my planner with a to-do list so that I can go through and see, okay, I'm supposed to be working on my morning routine or I'm supposed to be working on this other thing right now. These are the specifics. Also, keep in mind that this process of keeping that ideal week template only works or works better if you have some structure to your week. So for me, for example, I know that on Wednesdays I do filming and every Wednesday is the same thing. Every Thursday I do editing. Every Thursday is the same thing. I know that each week I do X amount of work based on hours or tasks or whatever it is and so even though there are some sim there are some differences within each week i go off the similarities to know that every monday i do this or every week i have to do this specific task i also have different things added if you watch the full video where i show my monthly things for example like paying certain bills i have those blocked in as well so i don't miss them or if i have like a doctor's appointment dentist appointment anything like that that it's like a 
reoccurring event and also add those okay so now i'm going to show you guys how i make my to-do list and it's literally just refilled or refreshed by the click of a button i made i made this very convenient for me so i don't spend hours or too long trying to plan my week or you know that's the point of this video so i'm going to show you guys how i do this i i'm using notion this is what i like this is what i'm using you can use the same idea in another platform using your to-do list to supplement or to help to support your calendar blocking you can use trello you can use asana you can use whatever other planner you want whether physical or digital you can also just use scrap pieces of paper whatever works but you do need a to-do list i'm just showing you guys what i use and i like to make things easy and digital so this is how i create this notion template so right now i'm just creating a new page and i'm starting on a blank canvas like you usually do with notion and i'm titling it weekly planner and then i'm just adding a header with the week that we're in so that we can always well i can always edit and change it from week one to two to three to four and add the date there just for it to be easier for me to track which week we're in just in case i didn't refresh or i get confused now what i'm doing is i'm creating toggle headers with each day of the week so i'm creating seven headers um because there are seven days of the week and i'm titling each of them for each day of the week and you'll see how i use this in a minute i'm adding also some block background colors and i'm just using purple because i'm me so why not so here i'm just showing you how i do that i just literally use forward slash type toggle and it comes up and i do toggle header i think i did toggle header too here because of the weird sizing i'm just adding a coat to the side so that it can be a little bit more equal because i i like things to be neat and organized so there you go you can put anything you want to put there toggling these down to show you that it's empty and now we're going to do the part that you are actually here for i'm doing that forward slash again and i'm adding something called a button now this button you can literally just press it and it will refill each time each week so i'm showing you how i create that you can add emojis if you want or icons whatever it is that you want to customize and each button that i put on there i am going to name it the name of the day that we are in the week and then i'm going to add action the action that i'm adding here is for it to fill in um insert the block i'm going to write in my sunday routine and i'm doing it in the form of a checklist so that i can check off each thing as i go along throughout my day i like to ensure that all my headings are in bold but i also like to color coordinate few, a few things so i always mention that it's good to prioritize tasks so if you're having a really rough day or something happens and you can't complete everything off your checklist you at least know your top three or top five priorities for that day that needs to get done and so what i do is i double click on whatever entry is like priority or the most important and i just change the color so let's say for example on my calendar i have that i need to work but i have 10 lists of things in my work to do list that i need to do i know the top three that i need to do or the first three that i need to do i'm copying this list for monday because my routines are usually pretty similar obviously my work week is going to look a little bit different from my weekends or a lot different and so i'm not just having a routine here but i'm also having work slash business tasks that i need to do on weekdays i also have another category called personal where whatever thing i need to do for myself or outside of business outside of my routine that's like a little personal or Kimani tasks if i'm helping somebody with something or whatever it is that is outside of those i just put it in personal and i have that category too and as i said like my week typically looks the same or similar and so these are great templates obviously it's not set in stone and so i can always delete stuff or add new things once i press that button and it is like refreshed or filled out However, it does prevent me from trying to think what do I need to do or what do I need to put here and it also prevents me from having to literally type out every single thing 
every day or every week so it really does save me a lot of time especially with my calendar attached so mondays to friday i have three different categories under my button list but on weekends it's a little bit different it's usually just routines on sundays and on saturdays it's usually routines and a little personal depending on what's going on a lot of the things that i do here comes from my list of top 10 things that i do for time management which if you want to watch that video you can just click that link in the top right hand corner and it will take you there but things like batching my tasks for the day or for the week or whatever those things are included prioritizing tasks all those things you're seeing firsthand that i do do these things and so if you're not really sure what i'm talking about you might want to check out that video and to also learn a few other things that i do for time management to save myself time so that i can actually find time for everything i want to do all my weekly things that are routine for me or that i am more than likely going to do they are added in this button so that when i click everything is refreshed and i only maybe have to add or subtract one or two things that's pretty much it like literally everything is automated and digital it makes my life so much easier and cleaner and organized so give this a try and let me know if you do but i forgot to show that you can customize and add like a banner at the top and so that's what i'm showing if you aren't a techie type of person and you want to do calendar blocking on a physical calendar or on your phone calendar instead of google calendar or you want to do a written to-do list that's all fine it works just the same it's just that i use different things based on what i like and what i find to be way more convenient okay so that's it for this video if you like this video then you know what to do also there will be a playlist at the end of this video on the end screen that you can check out if you like this video chances are you'll like the videos that are in that playlist stick around and i hope you enjoy my content if you do show some love i'll see you guys next week with another video but until then just remember to do something today that will help you to be a little bit better than you were yesterday